This video looks at two examples of algebraic fractions. The first being a addition, the second being a subtraction. And it summarises a few golden rules to use which will always work. Now on the first one, golden rule number one is where necessary, place things in brackets. This is where there's more than one thing either above or below the fraction. Now, to add together two fractions requires the same denominator. And there's a trick we use to achieve this, which is as follows. Now, there's an x here by itself. We force this x in onto the other fraction by basically multiplying by x. And what we do below the fraction, we must also do above. We then take the other side and force that in onto the other fraction. So we put the x plus 2 onto this side and what we do below we must also do above. Now we now have got the same denominator, albeit swapped around. This means we can now add the fractions. Now before we do that we expand the tops but we leave the bottoms of the fractions as they are. So, 3 times x, that gives us just a 3x, which I will place in the bracket. Then, we've got over x plus 2 times x. Plus, we expand the other top. 5 times x is 5x, and 5 times 2 is 10, which I will also place in the bracket all over the bottom of the fraction, x, x plus 2. This placing in brackets is more important for harder examples, but it's worth doing, as you'll find out in example 2. Equals. We now write this denominator down under the fraction. The order is fairly irrelevant. I'll put the x first and the x plus 2 second. Now then, we've got a 3x and a 5x, so we add together these terms to get an 8x and then a plus 10 we have to add on a 10 and that's the answer however there's one final step which can help to make the answer simpler which is to factorize the top of the fraction if we look at those two terms they share a factor of 2 I can write 2 bracket 4x plus 5 2 times 4x is 8x, 2 times 5 is 10, and then write it all over x, x plus 2. That is your final answer in this case, but sometimes factors can cancel out. So the second one, we'll use the same rules. So rule number one, place brackets where necessary. This is where there is more than one thing, either above or below, the fraction. We then must force these two fractions to have the same denominator. So I take the x plus 4 and I write it down here and I do the same above. I then take the x minus 2 and force that onto the other fraction. That's the first step. The second step is to expand both the numerators, leaving the bottom as it is, placing the top in brackets once worked out. This is expanded using either a smiley face or a foil or a grid method, but x times x is x squared, minus 3x plus 4x is 1x, minus 3 times 4 is minus 12. Place it in a bracket and write it all over the x minus 2 x plus 4. We then write down the minus. This is the minus or subtraction in the question. And then expand the other numerator. 5x times x is 5x squared. 5x times minus 2 is minus 10x. Place that in a bracket and write it all over the x plus 4 and the x minus 2. These two fractions now share the same 
denominator, albeit swapped around. So, we now just have to work out that, take away that. Be very careful. So let's look at the x squared terms first. x squared take away 5x squared. Well, 1 take away 5 is minus 4, so that's minus 4x squared. Now the key thing here is that we've got an x take away a minus 10x. Now when there are two minus signs like that, the two minus signs cancel out and become a plus. So basically it's plus x plus another 10x, which becomes 11x. So that's cancelled with that, that's added together, and then the minus 12 left over, we just write it as minus 12. And then we take the bottom of the fractions and write it down. In either order, it's up to you, I'll write x minus 2, x plus 4, and that is our answer.